Hi, I'm Dr. Campbell. I'm here to talk to you today about a new initiative to revamp the standardized testing system that we now have in place. Uh, both the members of the Council of the State Officers as well as the Council of Great City Schools, they're going to attempt to restructure the standardized testing because they say the children are taking so many tests. The Council of Great Schools found out that students take 113 state assessments between preschool and the 12th grade. And now that you have mounting pressure from teachers as well as parents, they want to change the system. Now one of the things that, that bothers me about them changing the standardized testing is that black students are being outperformed by white students in standardized testing. And this has been going on since 1972, according to the New Jersey Department of Education. And so why don't we include some of the elements, if we're going to redesign them, that are, are, are more efficient and, and more black student friendly? For example, black students excel in a cooperative learning structure. They also ex excel when they have to demonstrate their learning through oral presentations. And so why not include that as you consider the restructuring of the standardized testing? I read an article by U.S. News, and they outlined 11 different skills that people would need to be successful in a career. And when we looked at the present standardized testing, it only includes three of those skills. But if we include um, standardized testing that's black student friendly, then at least we will cover seven of those skills when you bring them all together, which amounts to about 67%. And so as you all consider revamping the standardized testing system, make something that's black friendly, black student friendly. Um, so at least, you know, in, in these schools that have the majority of blacks in their schools, at least it'll look like the teachers are doing their job in that school. And so I want to thank you for uh, listening in today. This is Dr. Campbell. You can read about the whole article on my blog at www.positiveracialrelationships.com or call me on my direct line, 856-566-3267. Have a great day. Thank you very much.